Get all my cameras together. Hey, Cricket. So good to see you. I'm here with my big hair tonight. Mm -hmm. So we got some fun stuff to talk about tonight. Some great stuff to show you. Okay, we're going to go over to... Uh-oh, boop. So sorry. It takes me a minute, y'all. It takes me a minute. There we go. Y'all just wait. I'm hoping we'll have a good time on Tuesday night when I get to show you the insides of this because I almost opened them just now, y'all. I'm a rule follower, but you know, heavens, things happen. Things happen. Okay, um, Cricket ran a lot of errands, already laying in bed. Oh my gosh. Okay. I got to tell y'all stuff, but I'm going to tell you in a minute because I'm like, I, I'm, I've already taken too much time for y'all. Okay. Okay. So celebration is coming. I've told y'all about it. I can't wait. I can't wait. We're going to use some of the free celebration papers. You will see it in this little corner right here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show y'all the, um, the little stack of paper. Okay. Um, celebration is where you get an item free for every $50 you spend and there's one category where if you spend $100, you get two things. And they tell you exactly what you get anyway. It's a thing, y'all. It's a thing. Um, and this is the new mini catalog coming out January, which means the December one, it's retiring. It's going away. So, okay, January the 4th. This is gone. This is gone. Most everything in here is gone anyway, but you can try and then this one will start on the 5th. So that's how it works. It's all mountain time. So maybe it's the 4th at midnight and the 5th at, I don't know, midnight 01. Okay. And then this. Boom. Celebration. Okay. Y'all, I'm tired now. Got a few new Christmas cards in the mail. Um, and Heather, I love that Christmas catalog. So many ca yes, I hate to see it go too. And I went back in there to order some stuff and... Y'all, I'm such a goober. I I posted this thinking y'all run out there and order this paper really fast. It's the flocked poinsettia something 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 paper. I don't know what it's called. I I knew earlier. Just just look at my page. I don't know. All right. So I took an alcohol marker. I took a black and a blue and a green and a yellow and a red and a purple. And I colored the this side of the flocked, like you can feel it, and it's fuzzy wuzzy, okay? But on the back, I colored that side. So the lighter color, as you can barely see, and sometimes you just want a little color. You don't want to be extra. Okay, we know, we know I always want to be extra. But yeah, so we color the top of it, and you get this effect. So basically what I'm saying, y'all just play with your paper because who knows? Who who knew? Okay, well, I didn't know, but now I do. So you just you just color stuff. It's just paper. Go ahead and have fun. This is from my sweet and precious friend, Angela. And y'all know we've known each other for well over 30 years. Well over. And I just adore her. She's on tonight. I'm not going to open it because, you know, it's, it's a little message in there. But I love this set. This is the nativity set. This, I love this set. And I love the dies that came with it. Um, you may still be able to order this. I don't know. But it's in that um, holiday catalog that I showed you. And I love the sentiment, the star, everything about it. The background. Okay. Y'all, I get a little excited over my cards. This one is for a new friend, um, Virginia. And she even stamped this on the outside of her envelope. Um and and that made it real pretty. The little the little swirly thing here, that the stars. Yeah. Every time I say stars, I think of my mama because she used to say my stars and garters. And I had no idea what that meant until one day it dawned on me. Hmm. I don't think mom ever wore stars and garters at the same time. Okay. <laughs> We're not going there. So um Virginia put a star here and she's got some of that little that little string the little silver okay and this came from California with a regular stamp y'all a regular stamp and I talked to her on messenger um 
just to ask, did she take it to the post office to have it hand canceled because we got a little raised um, stars here and we've got a little bit of bling here and this is raised. She said no. She popped it in the mailbox and with a regular stamp. And I'm excited because every time I mail a card, I go and get them to hand, can hand cancel it. Here is a card from my sweet friend Jenny. And it's just beautiful. It's just so pretty. Isn't that pretty, y'all? There's so many glittery cards this year. Okay, now this is one... I was just sitting in here one evening and I made this card. Now, don't be impressed because these are, I don't even know. I, my brother was on the phone with me and I just kept building this card. And I'm using this, um, this Snowtex, Snowtex right here. Now, here's what, here's what happened. Um, this stuff dried out. Okay, because I only use it like once a year, all right? But I added water to it. You see how slushy that is in there? It still worked fine, but I stirred it up. I do this every year. I bring it back to life, and I kind of resuscitate it, and then I, I use it again. It dries up just crisp as a tater. I don't know. It's just sharp and crisp. Okay, and I stir it up with some water, and then I pile it like this. But that's all this is. There's nothing big and fancy about this card. It's kind of heavy, but, you know. Okay. This is one I made. You know, we talked about, um, and Lindell was, um, I think you were interested in the um, the gold leaf. Am I right? If it was you. Um, Lindell, I think, was asking about gold leaf online on Facebook. And this is one, I was just sitting there and I thought, I need a, I need a card like stationery, you know, and I thought, how fancy would this be? Hmm. So the B is kind of a grunge B because this is exactly how the stamp looks. I mean, it's kind of grungy a little bit. It's not perfect. But this part here came from this retired set called His Grace. And what I did, I went through, I went through all my, uh, stamps and I found something I thought would look good with the gold leaf and I used that at the top and the bottom okay so basically just go through your stamps just find something you think would be pretty and and it would take it well and this is number two because the first one did not work out at all mm -hmm. did not work out and anyway so oh the inside there's the inside I don't usually do the insides y'all but I did this one and all it is, is I used the, I carried this little theme with the indented corners to make it look, you know, like a, like one of those old Tommy photo album things. And I, and I punched it here and here and here, you know, to just kind of carry that on. And then I embossed just a strip of this gold and boom, there you go. All right. Okay. Now. Here is another card that we are going to case tonight. I will forever keep that stamp set. Yes, me too. Me too. It is so pretty. And especially now that we've got a new a uh, new tool to use with it, the gold embossing. Hello. Be sure and get you some heat and stick powder too if you don't have some. Because you need that. You're going to stamp it with um, Versamark and then put heat and stick powder on it. Heat that up. Soon as it melts, stop heating it. Don't don't get crazy, and then, <laughs> and then imagine me telling y'all don't get crazy, right? Okay, so then you take the gold leaf stuff and you just push it all around on there, and boom, you you've got a party on a card. So this is from my dear sweet friend Karen. I covered it up because you know maybe maybe there's a note in there. And this beautiful paper, y'all, it is so pretty. So we are gonna case this card in a minute couple of other things I want to show you. First of all, you know that brother that called me that I was telling you about? Bless it. We talked on the phone for so long, I got all of my thick whisper white cardstock and I cut all my card, my card uh, bases. All right. And they're just blank bases. And the cool thing about this is I want to encourage y'all to do this. First of all, on your bases, if you can use a heavy cardstock, do that. If you, if you can't, that's okay. Okay, so go ahead and cut you up some bases because sometimes it's tedious to have to do this. And when you do it, you're like, 
I've got them all done. And now I can just go in there and play in my studio. Right? Right. Okay. So we keep that over there. Okay, I just want to show you all this because I love this system. Now, I've tried a lot of ways to, to uh, keep my embellishments together and Stampin' Up um, sends them in these little round, cute little round things and they're great and they got this little um, tower that they used to sell that spins around and you can, st but here's the problem. I had way too many embellishments because I was collecting embellishments before I started with Stampin' Up. And here's, this is made by Craftmates. I've got embellish it written on the back. You can put anything in there. Um, it snaps shut. Got it at Walmart. No, I do not go to Walmart, y'all. I do not. I got it at Michael's. So this is from Michael's. I think they might be $10 a piece. I know y'all are going, oh my goodness. Well, y'all, this is one of two of these books. And I have two of these. These are the bigger ones. They, they, they're they two to each one, so they don't fit, you know, in here because they're too big. But they've got this cute little purple tab here. And y'all watch. Watch the bar. Boop. Well, you can't really see it too good on the camera. There we go. See the little bar moving, the purple bar? Okay, you push it like that, and the inmates can get out of their, <laughs> their cell. <laughs> It makes me think of a prison because you push this button and all the doors can fly open. Actually, you got to work on it. But anyway, I, I don't know anything about prisons. have never been there. I mean, it's early today, but I'm just saying. Um, so, okay. so, I've got these guys are in the book. And you just, you just simply pull them out. And you go, boop. And you can open and get your little embellishment. Okay, and if you got too many, you just line them all up in there. That's all. Okay, so we are using an old Stampin' Up! embellishment tonight. We're using these little corduroy buttons, which are just so cute. Well, they're not really buttons. They're brads, but they look like little buttons. They're so cute. I've even got eyeballs in here, y'all. Look. Look at all the eyeballs. Y'all wouldn't believe how many times that you need an eyeball. So we are now, let's see. Yeah, I do have I do have a story to tell y'all, but I'm going to go ahead and get started. We are going to make a card by casing this one. Case is an acronym for copy and share everything. Um or, you know, whatever words you want to make up to the acronym C A S E. It doesn't matter to me, but that's what we say at the Stampin' Up School of Hard knocks. Okay. <laughs> I'll show you what we're going to use. This is the free paper from um, Celebration that I cannot show you yet called Flower and Field Designer Series Paper. It was free with a $50 purchase. And of course, as a Stampin' Up! guru, I can order early. And I did. And I get my 25% off. Uh, newcomers get 20%. Anyway, <clears throat> so <laughs> they know all my secrets. This this is Flower and Field Designer Series paper, and it's pretty, y'all. It's pretty, but okay, so the first thing I did was match the colors, okay? These are the 2020 to 2022 um, in colors for Stampin' Up, and it will tell you here, Bumblebee, Cherry Cobbler, blah, blah, blah. It's got a bunch of different colors that go with it, some of the older colors, some of the new. We're going to use that tonight, and we're using this stamp set that's in the main catalog called Timeless Tulips. It's, um, I love this because, look, it's got a punch, okay? It's got a little punch that you can punch out these little, these little, tulips are my second favorite. Just, <laughs> just plead the fifth. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, so this is page 21 in the main catalog. If you need a catalog, let me know. Let me know. And here's the little stamp set. We're just using Get Well Soon. That's all we're using because I needed some Get Well cards. Okay, so here we go. All right. Our little buttons that we're going to use. And we're going to use this punch and this punch, which I forgot to look to see if they are current. I, they probably, I don't know. I don't know. 
I'll check in a little bit or I'll forget to. Okay. All right. So here we go. If y'all like to write down measurements, then, then do that. Okay. Because I'm going to call them out for you. First of all, the, um, the card stock, I cut the card stock instead of cutting it down the middle that I always tell y'all do, because there's 11, eight and a half, <laughs> eight and a half this way, 11 that way, all right? So I always tell you just go down the middle and you're at five and a half this way by eight and a half this way. And when you fold it in the middle, you're at four and a quarter. That would give you this shape, okay? Like this, all right? <laughs> Okay, so y'all are cracking me up. I don't know why I even turned on the comments. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so instead of going this way, are y'all ready for this? We are going to cut it this way, all right? So you get a card instead that opens up. Uh-oh, hold on. Hold on, everybody, hold on. It's going to go, it's going to be like this, okay? I know there's something missing. Don't worry about that. We're not talking about that right now. <laughs> <laughs> you guys make my day. Are you seeing double? You know what? I should be seeing double by about now. Okay, so it goes like this. And you're going to cut it right down the middle. And you're going to crease it in the middle, which is at five and a half. Okay? Okay. Okay. All right. Yes, we got some daisies over here. We'll talk about that in a little bit. So the first thing we're going to do, your, your cardstock is actually going to be 11 by four and a quarter. You're going to cut it off at two inches. Well, you're going to put your crease in the middle, all right? And you're going to cut it off at two inches, all right? Then we are going to take one of these. We've got two of them cut at four by one and three quarters. We're going to put one on here. Now, do I love yellow? No, but I think it's a cute little get well kind of a color, don't you think? Isn't it a good color for get well? <laughs> You are casing and sharing somethings. New acrim. Yes. Yes. Casing and sharing somethings. I like that. Cast. We're going to cast this. Okay. Now, keep in mind, you can go as crazy as you want to with this. You could put another layer on here. There's a lot you can do. There's no rules. Okay. So, now I'm going to... I've just glued that on there. Now, I'm going to put this on the inside. And where this was... Five and a half by four and a quarter, this will be four by five and a quarter, I think. Yep. <laughs> I had to check my cheat sheet because I failed to write it down. And Stampin' Up! is having a big um, a big sale. Um, not sale, but I mean clearance, you know. Be sure and check clearance racket. KathyBow.StampinUp.net and don't forget, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel? There's no money in it. There's not. There you go. Okay. There's no prizes. You just do it out of love. All right. So this, when I cut, when I cut part of this off, I ended up with this little strip that is four and a quarter by two. Well, I had to cut it to that. Okay. Because really it's like here. So I cut some off. Okay. And this is four and a quarter by two. And here's the other one, just like this one, that is four by one and three quarters right here. Get these things away before I get it all mixed up. Okay, I have never made this card, y'all. We're just I got it in the mail, loved it. My friend Karen made it, and I told her, I said, I gotta case your card. So we're gonna go like this with it. I'm gonna line this up at the bottom. Because when it, um, where'd her card go? Here we go. When it closes, see, you want it to match, you know, you don't want it to be all jacked up, right? Okay. Dealing really uniquely neat knowledge. You figure out the acronym D R U. <laughs> Aubrey, you are so funny. Oh my gosh, you are so funny. I'll tell you all the honest truth. Ninja Man and I, we had a day. Y'all, okay, story time, real quick. We had a day. Typically, our day, because we're retired and we've been married since 1874, okay? 
all right, 1976. But anyway, so we we spend our day doing just piddling around the house because COVID, okay? We don't have it, but we just don't want it. Now, I realize today it's not going anywhere, so we need to get off our butts. So anyway, we're sitting here minding what? Our own business. That's what we're minding, our very own business. And the business of our dogs. When the phone rings, sister-in-law, my husband's older sister, when I say older, I mean like she's, I don't know, she's a little older than him, fell last night. Her daughter had her at urgent care, and the diagnosis was a broken ankle. So, Cricket, were you really two when I got married? How sweet. I'll always know how old you are now. Um, so, the diagnosis was a broken ankle, which is not good. And she cares for her um, husband who has something called Lewy body. It's a, it's a form of dementia, and it's, it's a terrible thing. And she's his constant caregiver, and he needs somebody 24-7. So, long story short... I ended up taking her to the ortho specialist. My husband went, I dropped him off at their house so that he could sit with my brother-in-law. And um, then we came home and he said, are you going to be able to go live tonight? And I said, yeah, 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 I can, you know, because this this is just a crazy moment in the family, you know. And um, we had decided, we because it was such a pretty evening, we were just going to have a little drink on the porch. All right, because we're talking about drinking, and I'm not a drinker, just a now and then, er, okay. And um, when it came time to do that, I said, no, I got to go get ready for my live. So maybe after the live, I will have what um, what is the diabetic equivalent of a rum and coke. It's rum and diet coke. Maybe I don't know. So we'll see. Um, yes, a broken ankle. Please do pray for her. Her name is Jane. Um, so, okay, so we've lined this up to, but that, that's, that's my whole story. Okay. We've, <laughs> we're going to line this up here to the bottom just to know that that's where we want it. Okay. Now, if you want to, you could take a little bit of washi tape. Again, I've still got my nice washi tape, y'all. I guess I'm going to use it up. Have a little toddy. Yes, I'm telling you. Oh, thank you, Marilyn. Thank you. I was already married nine years and had number two child in 70. When did I say I got married? 76. Yeah, 76. Well, I tell you, um, we had we had two children, but we didn't have our first one till 81. And my grandmother was she swore up and down that I quote had to get married. Thanks, Grandma. You're wrong. Um, so anyway, <laughs> okay, so if you want, just in this case, you can put a little, a little washi tape and hold him down because he might get a little crazy. All right, so we're going to stop working on him for a minute. You are not old and thank you for the prayers. Thank you. And Cricket, yes, I'm, I think we kind of need one tonight. All right, so this right here, get well soon. I'm going to send this to my sweet sister-in-law. And I'm just going to stamp it in black. No, 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 I'm not either. I brought the ink out. Oh, that's one of the reasons I told y'all about the color. This came, this is a stamping spot, and they come in paper pumpkin. Heather was in seventh grade. I was in eighth, Heather. No. <laughs> just kidding. But I was 17. I was just a baby. But it's okay. It's all right. Everybody got along fine. We stuck it out. Okay. So, yeah, this, this came in my paper pumpkin, Just Jade. And I'll tell y'all a little secret. I'm going to show you if I can get it out of here. Y'all know that Fer Ferrero Rocher or whatever it's called? You can see the little label here. These I have two of these in a drawer right here beside me. This is the top and the bottom of a Ferrero Rocher, <laughs> whatever it's called. That candy with the nut in the middle. Mm -hmm. And... And I, all I did was take the ink pad and scrub it on a little piece of paper and punched a circle out so I know which color I'm picking up. And I've got them facing down so that the ink will, oh, he's, oh, bless it. Okay, Hopper's going night-night, so let's be sure and tell Hopper good night. Yes, um, Lindell, yes. 
you you should um you should get some of these for your for your little I mean they they perfectly fit. It's almost like they're made for them. You know, but anyway, okay, so we'll leave we'll leave that out from it. So I'm using um good night hopper, have a good night. And Cricket gets to call him babe because she's his favorite. Okay. <laughs> Just Jade, and I just grabbed my little stamping spot, and now that I've run my mouth so long, I've got to do it again. So please hold. Please hold. All right. Now, another thing I could have done was just huff on it, okay? Okay? But I didn't do that, did I? Get well soon. Oh, that is, y'all, goodness gracious. Let's see. Sweet dreams, Hopper. That's so sweet, Marilyn. Okay, and now we're going to take this piece that is three by three and three quarters. And yes, I wrote on it. And make sure that's good and dry. This one, this white piece is two and three, two, two and three quarters. Hold on. By what? Two and three quarters by three and a half. This one. This one is three by three and three quarters. So basically, you're just going down a quarter on each one, okay? So we're going to put that there. And we just want to put our um, adhesive right on the top edge. We we don't, well, no, we want it on the top edge and the bottom. Like I told y'all, I've never made this before. Okay, we want it here and here, all right? So we're going to go like this. And we're going to put a little down here. And we're just going to put it right here. And Jan, you know you'll see this again tomorrow, right? <laughs> Jan will see this again tomorrow. All right, here we go. And how sweet is this, y'all? I just love a, a special little, little, um, new fold or something like that. Okay, now we're gonna get into the business end. We're gonna get into the business end. Um, I could not decide if I wanted white fleurs or the bumblebee. So I'm gonna use my little punch here and I'm gonna punch out so that we can, we can see oh, what we like, which ones we like. We're gonna punch two of these Lindell, thank you. I do too. I really like it. I love learning a new something too that makes a card so unique. And then we're going to go here. Boom. Now we're going we're gonna to try a few things. We might turn them sideways and all that stuff. Okay, there we go. Um, you can do You can do as many of these as you want to make your flower as fluffy as you want. We are going to use... Oh, dear, not that. I'll show you all my drawer. This is my picks, erasers, and threaders, which I don't know why I said erasers, because those are actually in a drawer. But I got all kinds of things in here. See? I mean, isn't it interesting how people do things? I do it this way. Somebody else might do it differently. But I know that I can just reach in here and grab my um this thing we used to use. Now we've got we've got the take your pick tool. Boom. Yes. Okay. Ah, thank you, Marilyn. Thank you, Heather. Okay, so I'm good. I'll just show y'all with the take your pick tool. Because I know I'm always using my scary dental tool. Um, for those of you who are new, this is my scary dental tool. Bum bum bum. It always needs that little bit of music to go with it because it's very scary. Okay. All right. I once had a dentist when I was like seven years old, I had a dentist that um, literally carried me in and slung me down in the chair. He carried me like a roll of carpet up under his arm. Of course, I was kicking and screaming, but you know, nowadays you can't do that to kids. But back then, mama just sat in the waiting room and said, well, you get what you ask for. And mama, you say, oh, girl. <laughs> so you know what I think I'm going to do is... I think I'm just going to do this. What do you think? So I've staggered my petals. I'm layering the the white 
and then the yellow, and I'm just staggering my little petals here. Hold on. Hold, please hold. There we go. Okay. And did the same with the little one. And we're, we're going to be sure and curl the edges too. Now, see, I'm just positioning this one just a little off of the other ones. And then we're just going to go right down the middle like this. Oh, dear. We're not smack in the middle, but hey. Uh-oh. So who is going to judge, right? Hold on. Okay. And then we're going to go through that little hole with our embellishment like this. Okay. Got to fluff him back out because I dropped him midway. Okay. Here we go. And we're just going to, and like I said, this is an old embellishment here. Um, I got to get the little thing separated. Please hold. Here we go. Okay. It's an old Brad, so you can't get these again. But what I'm saying is when y'all have, um, when y'all have, when you see something and you're like, oh, I don't know how I'll use that. And you, you know, just think outside of the box because you might use it so many different ways. So now we're just going to curl this up. Bless it. So one time I had to have um, dental surgery and this dentist, um, Cricket, he's in Richmond Hill. He's a, not an endodontist. I can't remember what he, what kind he is. Oh, y'all look at this. How do y'all like this little card? Is that sweet or what? Doesn't it make you just want to get well? I mean, you know. Um, now, what I, what really I could have done was put this through the white, but, and y'all are going to hear my dogs because my husband's uh, taking them out. They get so excited. Um, anyway, I went to this dentist in Richmond Hill back when we lived near Savannah, and this man was absolutely so handsome. Is that why you had a hot dentist when you were here? <laughs> that Heather knows the story. She does. Uh, uh, Cricket might know this story, too. Vicky might know. Um, so anyway, they, I, I mean, he just looked like somebody out of a magazine. And I don't know what was wrong with me. He was old enough to be my brother. I mean, my son. <laughs> uh, so... I got in that chair, and they, they were getting ready to knock me out, and they gave me some, uh, just some stuff to calm me down, and he stood there, and there was two of his uh, nurse ladies, whatever they're called, the dental people, <laughs> and they were about ready to knock me out, and he says, do you have any questions, and I said, just one, and oh, I should, but anyway, he, he, he said, Okay, what's your question? So it's his fault that I said, can we just talk about how hot this dentist is? Yeah, that's what I said. It happened. It, it, it just happened. So I go back in for a checkup or stitches or getting out. or so, I don't even remember why I had to go back, but when I went back, all of the little nurses came in the room and shut the door and they said, we have been saying that forever. Finally, somebody said it out loud. <laughs> I said, what? And they told me what I said. And I said, I'm just so sorry. They said, we're not. Okay, so this is our little card. And <laughs> it's a true story. Don't put me under and ask me, do I have any questions? Because he said, as soon as I said that, he goes, knock her out. And Next thing I know, I'm waking up. I didn't even know I said it. But don't don't ask, you know, don't ask me. Okay, so this this I'm a cooker. <laughs> I guess I was that day. Um so this yeah, this you could you could use your um your hold on a minute. Stampin' dimensionals, you could use those. They might not be strong enough. Um, so if you're not gonna push your your brad all the way through this layer here and then pop this layer up because the brad is going to elevate it. Um, then, well, at Cricket, hang around. You'll hear it again and again. No, <laughs> it's my favorite dentist story. <laughs> um, but yeah, if, if you if you put it through this white part, you're going to need your Stampin' Dimensionals under there so it'll elevate the whole thing. Okay? So this is a sweet little get well card. Wouldn't you get well if you saw that? 
There you go. Thank you, Heather. Thank you. And let me see what else we have on our little agenda tonight. Oh, I can check and see if those um, daisy punches are still available. Let me look at that real quick. Oh, look. They are. Hmm. Who knew? Right here. Amazing what little drugs will make you say. Yes, that's why I just say no. Just like Mama said, I say no. <laughs> Unless it's a very handsome dentist. But anyway, um, these little daisy punches, this one's 18, this one's 16. You need them both because, because you are going to want to layer your daisies, right? And maybe, maybe you just want a little simple daisy, a white simple daisy daisy like this but but who wants a simple daisy it seems that card made with the clear sheet in the middle clear oh you've seen i've seen that card made with the clear sheet in the middle yes yes um heather has the smaller daisy punch yay you need the big one um yes if you do a clear sheet you can do acetate or you can do vellum now the vellum is not going to hold the weight very well. So you might do designer series paper or something behind the vellum. But um but yeah. So yeah, there we go. What do y'all think? And we are right on time tonight cuz I kind of went over last night. I mean last Tuesday. Next Tuesday night we will be um opening the catalog and if you need a catalog, get in touch with me and let me send you one in the mail. And um, I do not charge for catalogs. And let's see, you're gonna want it. You are gonna want the um, you gonna want the catalog because when you see everything on Tuesday, you're gonna be like, oh my word. So here's the deal. If you want some, let's do it. If you want a lot. Then if you join, it's $99, and you get $125 worth of goodies, plus you get, I think it's like almost $60 worth of designer series paper, if I'm correct, in the size of the um, of the packages. Yes, Heather, parte, parte. Um, I, might be, I might be wearing a fun hat. I don't know. I don't know. I will miss as I will be at American Heritage Girls. That's Yeah, and I was thinking you must be off tonight because of the holidays. I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas. Ours was very quiet. I'm going to show you real quick. Oh, a couple of things. First of all, I want to show y'all this little thing is my rival. <laughs> Marilyn, send me a private message with your address and I will send it to you, my friend. Um... Just send it to me here on my channel, and and I'll I'll mail you one. Um, I've got to mail a couple others tomorrow's too. Okay, so this thing right here is just an ice crusher thing, and here's what we do with it. Ninja Man crushes ice, and he takes like the um, uh, the powder um, the little powdered stuff you put in your drinks. Okay, and he. And he mixes those up pretty strong with water, like the crystal light. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, crystal light, strawberry or whatever. Mixes it up with water, a little strong. And then he pours that over the ice. And he puts a chunk of ice cream in there. Yeah. So, it's amazing. Except, of course, crystal light has like, I don't know how many chemicals and furniture polish, oil, whatever it is in there, but it is so good. So we have a little snow cone with a little ice cream down in the middle. It's like a little surprise, and it's not enough to, you know, to do a whole lot of damage. Um, Carolyn says, the paper you get is five packs of six by six. It's pretty. I have it awesome. I did not know we could order it in advance. Um, so the five packs of six by six... Each pack is a full pack. That's what I wasn't clear about. Because if so, that is a really good deal. Okay. This is a card I made for a friend who um, lost her beloved pup. And um, Jan, have a good... I can't see what that is. Oh, New Year. I bet that means New Year. Have a good New Year. Thank you, Jan. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Woo! Um, 
but yeah, this, this was just a card I made and I just used a little Sahara sand to make the clouds. And, um, that's, that's my show and tell. So, um, thank you all for joining me tonight. It was fun. I hope you learned something new. I hope you saw something that, that inspired you. I don't even know. I don't even know, but I hope it went well for y'all. Y'all have a, a wonderful new year if I don't talk to you before then. And God bless everybody. And thank you so much for dropping in. And don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Share it with friends. I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers because then they'll monetize me. Okay. Thank y'all so much. Thank you, Angela. Love y'all. God bless. Bye-bye.